Hi, I'm Neha. I got to play pro tennis and travel around the world for six years. After that, I graduated from college and moved to New York. Through these awesome adventures, I learned a lot about the body, mind, and practical ways to improve myself. I'd like to share them with you. Welcome to Neha Shows. So today I thought I'd show you some wrist strengthening and range of motion exercises. Now whether you're a racket sport athlete or a golfer, or you practice yoga, or you don't do anything at all but you're on your computer all day, wrist injuries are very common. I'm going to show you a few exercises you can do to build strength and increase your range of motion. Let me change and let's get started. The first set of exercises we have are wrist curls. Grab your dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, get water bottles or anything that's of even weight that you can hold. And on a flat surface, either a bench or a table, whatever you find that's flat, that you can sort of lean over, just let your wrists sort of hang off of the flat surface. From here, you're just going to curl up. Nice and slow, curling up. Don't hyperextend. Don't try to go too far back. It's not about how far you can go, it's about where your range of motion is comfortably. So we're gonna go for about 10 reps here. And when you're done, you do the same thing, but the other way. So the front of your forearms are lying flat, your elbows are not up, your weight is back. And this time, if you notice, I'm sort of letting the dumbbell roll on my fingers so I can get more range of motion. I have pretty tight wrists from all those years of tennis, so if I keep my hands closed and try to go down, I'm not really getting a very big range of motion. So one way I've found to sort of improve that is to let the dumbbell weight sort of roll on my hands and come up. Roll my hands and come up. A variation to this, these wrist curls to make things a little bit more challenging is to do them with one finger. Now you might need to drop weight a little bit because you don't want spraining a finger or spraining any of the ligaments in your hands or the tendons in your hands, but this is really great for improving overall hand strength. So you're gonna grasp the dumbbell with just two fingers at a time, your thumb and your other finger. So let's start with our pinky. Grab your thumb and your pinky, you're gonna grab the dumbbell and you're gonna curl up. And you'll see which fingers are stronger, which are pretty weak. And just go through all the fingers Again, we're gonna do 10, 10, so by the index finger, you should be pretty tired. And you can do the same thing the other way. So take your pinky and your thumb, curling up for the inverse. Ring finger, middle finger, and your index finger. The next set of exercises we have are for radial and ulnar flexion. Let's do one hand at a time so we make sure that we're doing it right. Now it's important here that your hand doesn't drop that it stays parallel to the ground, and so that it's one straight line, and you're just going to the right. Just a little movement. You might not feel something right away, but you will after a couple reps, trust me. Right here, just a slow movement. And as we went out, we're gonna do the same thing, moving in, in. And as you get better with your form, you can start putting both hands and do it at the same time. The next exercise is very easy, tennis ball squeezes. This improves your hand strength. For an athlete that uses rackets or racket sports, it's important to have very strong hands so that you can not only prevent injury, but you can also start hitting the ball harder and absorb harder um, or faster pace without injury. So take a soft tennis ball. It's important that the ball is dead unless you have exceptionally a strong wrists and hands to begin with. You want to make it easy for yourself. And you're just going to squeeze the ball for five seconds and release. You're going to squeeze <laughs> and release. I like to do these while I'm watching TV. You can, you know, it's kind of one of these board exercises you don't really need to pay attention to. But it's amazing what it can do for your, uh, your hand strength and your wrist strength. And be sure when you're doing these squeezes that you don't, forget your thumb, that your thumb is included as well. You're not just doing this, you're doing this with your whole hand. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of quick stretches to help you increase your range of motion and also prevent injuries. The first one is gonna be for your forearms. So you're just gonna put the palms of your hands facing your, and your fingers facing your body on the mat in front of you. And the objective is to try and sit back on your haunches all the way down. Now you can see this Stretch is very difficult for me. I have very tight wrists. 
Try to hold this for about 15 seconds. And then you can do the same thing the other way. So you're, the back of your hands are on the mat in front of you as flat as possible and you're trying to sit back. Be careful not to roll your hands off the mat. You want to make sure you get as much of your hands on the mat as possible even if you can't go very far back. And if this is too much for you, there's a variation that's a bit easier. You're going to put your right hand in front, grab your, take your left hand and grab your fingers, pull them back towards your face. Don't forget to include the thumb, it's very important to stretch that as well. And you can do the same thing the other way, pulling your fingers back towards your face. Keep the elbows straight, you don't want a bent hand. And the last stretch I have for you, I call it the owl stretch. It's great for people who have tennis elbow or golfer's elbow. Uh, it's an ulnar nerve stretch. What you're gonna do is take your forefinger, your index finger and your thumb, and you're going to um, flip your hands up so the palms of your hands are on your cheeks, and you're gonna try and make owl eyes, or sunglasses, or whatever you wanna call them. And then the objective is to get your elbows back and down so that you're not hunched over, your back is straight. How do I look? <laughs> Hold this for a couple seconds. You should feel a deep stretch all throughout here. And if you're super tight, even in your armpits. And that's it, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching Neha's shows. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe.